Hello Intellects. I am glad to have you back on Insights for you today. Last week, we compared the effectiveness of undetectable AI and stealth writer AI humanizer to bypass the Turnitin AI detector. I began by generating text with ChatGPT. Then, I paraphrased the text on undetectable AI and stealth writer AI humanizer. The results from these tools were tested on Turnitin to see if they helped to bypass the Turnitin AI detector. You can check the link to the video right after watching this video. This video will compare Quillbot and Hicks AI to bypass the Turnitin AI detector and other AI detectors. We will also check their results on Grammarly to see the grammar correctness levels. Quillbot is typically a paraphrasing tool, which has been helpful when it comes to preventing your AI-generated content from getting detected by Turnitin. Hicks Bypass, on the other hand, is a relatively new tool to humanize ChatGPT, Google Bard and other generative AI. So, I asked ChatGPT to write a 1,000-word blog on how to manage time effectively. We will paraphrase the output on both Quillbot and Hicks Bypass. Then, we will check the results on Turnitin and Grammarly. Let us get to it now. Quillbot. So, I will copy this ChatGPT content and paste it on Quillbot. Let us use the shorten mode and increase the synonym icon to the second level. This particular mode has consistently worked in humanizing ChatGPT content. However, Turnitin is constantly working on its detector to curb academic malpractices. Then, I paraphrase. Let's save the results as Quillbot. This file will be used for checks on Turnitin and Grammarly. I will repeat the same process on Hicks Bypass AI. Copy the output from ChatGPT and paste it over here on Hicks Bypass. Then, click on the Humanize icon. I will quickly copy the output and save it. It is time to check the Quillbot and Hicks bypass results on Turnitin AI detection. Let us begin with Quillbot. I will save the submission file as Quillbot. Then, upload the file from my computer. The plagiarism level is 0%. AI results of the Quillbot paraphrase text is 49%. Okay, let us see the AI results for the Hicks bypass. I am checking the humanized text from Hicks now. Checking files on Turnitin is very easy. However, you need an instructor's account to see the AI results. Back to the results. The plagiarism level for Hicks bypass output is 6%. The AI is 40%. I am glad we have such high AI results for both Quillbot and Hicks AI because this allows me to explain certain things to you. Usually, Quillbot and especially Hicks AI are very good at bypassing Turnitin AI detectors and other AI detectors. You can see some of my videos in the description box that proves this. Besides, I have used both tools often and had 0% AI on Turnitin. The question is, why are the AI scores very high now? Using any ChatGPT text humanizer to get a 0% AI score depends on many factors. However, the most important of them is the nature of ChatGPT output. Sometimes, the way ChatGPT writes sounds a lot like AI. Therefore, merely using AI tools to humanize them will not solve the problem. After all, AI humanizers are also AI. Therefore, in times like this, you have three options. One, generate another output from ChatGPT. Prompt ChatGPT to write like a human. 2. You can paraphrase the highlighted parts again using either any of the humanizers or manually. 3. Use AI together with original sources. Then, do not use only AI like ChatGPT and Claude AI to write your research papers. Always combine original articles and research with AI. It will enrich your writing and learning process. 
All right, intellect, I hope this video was helpful. Kindly hit the subscribe for more videos. If you have any questions, write them down in the comment section, and I will reply. Hit the like button and share. Thanks for watching.